We're here to talk today about how the world famous Stripe Hog paint and rubber removal machine compares with a machine you may or may not have heard of, Cyclone by Neil Fisk Advance. Let's take a look and see how the two machines differ and by comparing, maybe help you better determine which machine may or may not be right for you. First off, the Cyclone by Neil Fisk Advance is advertised as an airport only machine. It's not designed to go down the highway. So if you're an airport owner or only going to be using a machine on airport, this machine may be worthwhile considering to a further extent. However, if you're a contractor and interested in owning a machine that can be used on roadways and runways, the Stripe Hog would probably be a better choice. While the Stripe Hog machines have been built on more than nine chassis worldwide and are generally sourced from the country in which they'll be finally placed, the Cyclone machine, on the contrary, it only goes 17 miles per hour and has not been certified for any highway use worldwide. Next, let's talk about the heart and soul of any rubber removal or paint removal system that uses ultra high pressure water. Here you see a high pressure pump used in the Cyclone machine produces seven gallons a minute, whereas in the Stripe Hog unit, 12 gallons per minute. Whether you're talking about a lawnmower, a jet airplane, a front end loader, any piece of equipment, the productivity and capacity of that piece of equipment to do its intended job will be directly correlated to the amount of horsepower behind that piece of equipment. While the Stripe Hog cleans 1,800 square meters per hour consistently, go on YouTube, watch the Cyclone work. You can see right here, it's going to the tune of about 30 grooves every six seconds. If you work that out, that's less than 800 square meters per hour. Why? Back to the horsepower and capacity issue. 12 gallons a minute on a Stripe Hog and seven gallons a minute on a Cyclone machine. Let's address what may be the biggest difference between a Cyclone machine and a Stripe Hog machine. Cyclone advertises that there is no vacuum required to move the material, the dirty water and the debris into the debris storage tank. Let's take a look at what that means in the course of time. Well, a Stripe Hog has a vacuum blower and a vacuum tank and vacuum hoses. According to Cyclone, None of these are necessary with the Cyclone machine, which in part may be true, but there are certain sacrifices made along the way that you may want to consider. So while it's true that a Cyclone machine has no vacuum system, it still has to have mechanisms to remove the water and the debris generated and place it into a debris storage area. So how does that happen? And how is it different from a Stripe Hog vehicle? Well, whereas a Stripe Hog has a four inch hose that leads to a debris storage tank, a vacuum tank, a Cyclone machine has only a one inch hose that leads from the heads into the debris storage area. What does that mean? Well, as long as you're mixing rubber with a fairly large amount of water, the pumps that are located on the heads here has the ability to transfer that water and rubber successfully through the one inch hose into the debris storage area. But interestingly enough, we can't find any videos except about a seven second clip where the Cyclone machine is removing paint. Why? Well, we've got it on pretty good word that the pumps that are necessary to move that debris are not capable of transferring paint chips and heavy paint materials, including thermoplastic or tape other markings that are commonly used into the debris storage area. Conversely, the Stripe Hog equipped with a vacuum recovery system and moving material through a four inch hose, 3M waffle tape, foil back tape, epoxies, polyurea, thermoplastic, paint, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing that can stop up the powerful vacuum system mounted on a Stripe Hog. Well, what else is eliminated? The heads here, are very closely sized to the size of the shroud. In fact, if you look at these pictures, there's probably not a quarter of an inch around from the shroud to the cyclonic bar 
that creates the turbulence under the head. I also have to question how much those cyclonic heads cost when they have to be replaced and they are subjected to the abrasive environment that's produced under the blasting shroud. Additionally, if you were considering this machine for highway use, you'd be forced to think about how close you could get to a barrier wall with these setups. From here to here must certainly be more than 14 inches whereas a stripe hog we can get you within one inch of a barrier wall or other linear obstruction. Maybe most importantly is this. The ability to quickly adapt the heads on a stripe hog to a four inch line or a 50 foot rubberized area on a runway and anything in between. On an airfield, taxiways and aprons you'll find four inch markings, you'll find six inch markings, you'll find 18 inch markings, 36 inch markings, and then markings that are very wide, so piano bars, and touchdown markings on the runway. The ability of the stripe hog to quickly change from a four inch painted line to a 50 foot rubberized area is very quick and easy, allowing you to maximize the full power of your stripe hog no matter what size of area you're trying to remove. Conversely, Take a look at this video here where the cyclone machine is attempting to remove an 18 inch wide line with an 18 inch wide paint removal head. Notice the gap left on one side where they're leaving about two inches of black markings. Now you see it shifting back to the other side and leaving a little sliver on this side. If this pattern continues down the runway, the operator would then have to make three entire passes to completely remove the mark. Probably be much smarter to go down and remove half the line on one pass and the other half on the next pass. But at which point you're exposing a total of 18 inches of area to blasting that doesn't need to be exposed. Now we call this the potential for impact to the surface depends on the, on the integrity of the surface, but to unnecessarily impact the surface where it doesn't need it does two things. Waste valuable productive time, and secondly, increases the potential to negatively impact the surface where it's not at all necessary. How would we remove that line with a stripe hog? By positioning the heads in line, we could take one pass with 14 inch bars, take the next pass with 8 inch bars turned a little bit to the side so that you have a total of 20 inches blasted. This allows just for a margin of steering error on either side of 1 inch. Now what have you done? You've removed the marking in the quickest amount of time possible and you've eliminated the possibility to negatively impact the surface on both sides of the marking. Any machine has to take on clean and fresh water and dump its dirty water. That is before the Stripe Hogs revolutionary 8000R. This recycling system enables the Stripe Hog to work continuously over many days without ever dumping its wastewater or taking on new clean water. You're talking about short runway closures on the end of a runway and a cyclone vehicle that only travels at 17 miles per hour it can be a long three mile trek to dump wastewater and a long trek to pick up fresh water at a fire hydrant and you can't always coordinate the need to dump with the need to take on new water. With the Stripe Hogs recycling system, both of these critical needs are eliminated.